Hi everybody, Sanbonani. Welcome to my channel. Kamala Mgonta and on this channel, Skuluma Ama Reality TV shows, Ama Celebrities, Kanye Nama YouTubers. If it's your first time joining me today and you really like my content, do not forget to press the subscribe button. Lange Zanzi, Kandiga, you can support the channel by liking the video and watching adverts on this video. Listen, you guys, we are still talking about the Mommy Club, okay? This was episode... Uh, three, and I want to talk about this scene right here. It was a touching, uh, touching scene. So, uh, this is uh, Happy Smelane and uh, Numurai. <laughs> I'm always not sure if I'm pronouncing her name right. And then is Ratile. Ratile is a new cast member that they added in this episode. She's coming in as a friend to Happy Melane, but they are also still getting to know each other. I did mention this in episode one, that what I like about this show is that they're not pretending to have known each other for a long time. We can, it's clear that they're just getting to know each other because they are working on this show. I did say in the last video, you guys, that one thing about Happy Melana is that she is showing up for work and she is working for the for that paycheck. Okay. I appreciate that about her. I actually realized after I had said that that she actually shot every single scene on this episode. First, she shot a scene with her kids, okay, which we just spoke about in another video. And then she did a scene when they are introducing uh, Ratile. And then she did uh, a scene when it's uh, Mrs. Mobs' uh, tea party. And then it's the son. Okay. And that was basically the whole episode. It was just her. She's basically carrying this show so far. And I thought it was going to be Mrs. Mobs. And as much as the show is centered around Mrs. Mobs' life, but I feel like Happy is the one that is working very hard uh, on this show. Okay. So this is a difficult one, you guys. And I, I guess those who are watching the show can go into the comment section and tell me what they think about this issue because oh happy had, has just lost her husband last june i believe okay i believe it was in 2022 so now every time that she is introducing herself to the ladies she always mentions that she lost she recently lost her husband in the car accident i guess it comes up because uh some of these ladies or most of them are married okay they will say i'm married and i have you know, these many kids and whatever. And then uh, obviously for her, she has to say, you know, I lost my husband in a car accident. And I do feel like when she says that, then the other ladies, uh, it's either they get curious about what happened to her husband or they're just trying to be nice. Because I think that it's difficult when somebody says to you, I lost a family member recently, for you to not ask who the family member is and what happened, okay? Okay. And she always acts like it's weird that they're asking her questions about the passing of her husband because she doesn't know them very well yet. But then I think it would be strange if somebody told you that they've just lost a husband and then you just don't say anything about it. I think that I would ask to just to be to uh, for the person to see that, OK, you've just mentioned something important. We're getting to know each other. Let me see uh, if I can uh, be a good listener in this story. What happened to your husband? And obviously you are not forced to share everything. OK, and this is a thing that I've been struggling with. OK, are they not supposed to ask when she says to them? you know, my husband passed last year. Are they not supposed to ask what happened just because they don't know her that well yet, you guys? I don't know. Like, maybe I'll hear from some of you in the comment section. I feel like they don't have a choice. When somebody tells you that they've lost somebody recently, you are going to ask what happened. It's, it's, it's the least you can do in the moment, okay? And it's up to them how much they share with you. So in this um, uh, scene right here, uh, Happy had invited Numurai to uh, come and spend time with her because, of course, they're getting to know each other. But uh, in addition uh, to the two of them, then they also invited Ratile to uh, basically join them, okay? 
And then the, the same thing happened when she mentions her husband and then uh, Numurai just felt like she wanted to ask some more uh, in terms of like what really happened to her husband. She says, I, I never asked you, but what happened to your husband? She does get uncomfortable and says in the diary session that uh, she's not letting go of that issue. Why is she asking again? Because she had asked her before, you know, and I felt like it's because she keeps mentioning it. So it's weird for them to not ask. So she ended up telling the story. And this was the first time that she actually told uh, the whole story. Uh, I don't know if it's the whole story, but more on what happened with her husband. She says um, her husband, I guess, had gone on some uh, business and she couldn't get hold of him uh, for some time. And and then the brother was calling to say, listen, I can't get hold of my brother. And then she was saying, I'm trying to get hold of him too. And then at some point, I don't know, she was taking the black card to go do some groceries. I actually don't know why, because even Ratile was like, where does the black card come in? Okay. <laughs> uh, and then um, she took the black card, went and did some, did some groceries because she wanted to cook some nice meal for him. And then that's when she received a call from the police to say that they had found the car. And then the brother also called to confirm that, yes, he had passed away. Okay, you think the story ends there. But she continues to say that he actually... Uh, passed away while he was uh, with his girlfriend okay so he was with a side chick okay and then she goes on to talk about how she wish wishes that the side chick had actually uh, also passed in that car accident and uh, if she ever meets the side chick it will be she would end up in uh, jail uh, because of course I guess she has some grudges that she's holding against him she does believe that there is a possibility that the side chick caused an accident maybe they were having a fight in the car because she was jealous of her and all of that guys I imagine how difficult being in that situation is because the person that actually did you wrong has passed away because her husband did her wrong basically her husband was cheating basically and uh now she's trying to deal with the passing of her husband and dealing with the fact that um he was he had betrayed her but obviously the husband is not here the person that is alive is a side chick so i kind of do understand why all her anger is directed at the side chick because of course the husband is no longer here you know, but at the same time, I think she would have to admit to herself that her husband was not perfect because, of course, she was um, he was with this uh, lady. OK, apparently this lady went on to TikTok to post with her car and all of that. And she's really, really upset about that. I mean, if you're dating a guy that is married, you guys, and they pass away, I don't think that you have any business posting anything about that person, unless you don't know even at the time that you are posting that they had a wife. But the minute you find out that they actually were married, then you have no business posting. So I think that the the, the the girlfriend maybe was just trying to provoke her, but she seemed to be very, very angry with uh, the girlfriend more than the husband. But I also do understand that, I mean, he's no longer around, so how is she going to be angry at him, you guys? Anyway, I thought that it's a painful, uh, painful story, but I did feel like uh, it's going to bring them uh, together somehow. I don't know why these ladies are so judgmental when it comes to Uhepi, because even with uh, Ratila, Ratila was introduced by uh, Uhepi to the group, but she has some criticism on her own, of her own when it comes to Uhepi. She was talking about how... Um, uh, she uh, is of the belief that the, if you are a widow, you have to dress a certain way. And she does not see that when it comes to uh, Uhepi. And I feel like if you're getting to know each other, that's a question that you could have asked, you know, because the husband passed a year ago. Maybe it's one of those uh, families that only, uh, Abazila, only for three months, maybe for six months, it's been a year. Uh, maybe that's why you don't know. So I kind of feel like with every lady when it comes to uh, 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 happy 
Ngati, they are judgmental when it comes to her. But I feel like out of everybody, she's the realist in the, in the sense that she's the one that is really showing us her real life. Okay. So this uh, uh, day, I don't know a numerized um, uh, family, except we saw her baby at the birthday party, but we haven't seen anything more, you know. And even her house, I don't think that we've seen Numerai's house because we saw her taking a walk and then we saw the birthday party at the venue for the birthday party, but inside the house we haven't seen. So she seems to be sharing a little bit more because, but because of that, I feel like she's getting judged uh, by the other ladies. Anyway, guys, from the preview from next episode, it looks like Numera is going to betray uh, Ohepi by sharing that story because obviously she's sharing a story with her and uh, Ratile because they are the ones that are there at the meeting. And I think that she goes and shares the story with the other ladies, which upsets uh, oh, happy. Anyway, you guys, we're going to see how that goes next week, but it doesn't look like happy is going to be happy about that. Anyway, you guys, tell me what you think about this, honestly, in the comment section. How, what do you think about the fact that her husband died in a car accident while with the site? What would you do, you guys? You know, I guess you wouldn't, you wouldn't really have a choice if the person is still your husband. You would have to give them a dignified uh, funeral, even though they've done you wrong. Okay? It's, it's a tricky one. It really is a tricky one. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it before Pumegiona. Share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers. Ngintanda kakuni.